Hello, this is GetterDone01 on YouTube and Generally131 on Twitch and just about everything else. And today I'm going to teach you how to fix some of the lag in Battlefield 4. So, myself, like many people, have had this awful frame stutter jumpiness to their game and it's pissed some people off to the point of just uninstalling. Well, the other night I come across something that I think helps quite a bit. Now you notice in the bottom left hand corner uh, that yellow line is jumping up and down like crazy. Even though you see up there I'm getting 50, 60, 70 even FPS, I'm obviously not running VSync. And especially when it starts dropping lower, that CPU graph is going crazy. At the same time, you notice, guess what, I have huge, huge frame stutter. Now, this sucks like a lot of nuts, because when you're stuttering this bad, your mouse isn't accurate, you're trying to turn and shoot somebody and they get you, because you just miss. So, I'm going to teach you how to fix that. So first, we're going to shut off the game. I'm glad I closed that before I died. That would have been embarrassing. Now, you're on your desktop, you right click, open an NVIDIA control panel. I don't know if this will work on Catalyst or not. I, I don't have an AMD card to test. I don't even know if you can do anything like this on Catalyst. But in NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, and then find maximum pre-rendered frames. It'll be use the 3D application setting by default. Pick one, hit apply, and close. open up your server browser and join the server. Alright, now that we're back in the game we can start playing. The first thing we notice is the game is a bit smoother. Now you have to remember it's still a little bit jumpy for me because uh, I'm recording in 1080p and I don't have a dedicated hard drive for this and it's waiting on that. That sucks. But The frame rate is a little bit better. And look at that. Look how smooth that graph is. When I turn, the GPU and the CPU graph stay generally about in the same spot. There's no jumping about it. So, for me, this ended up being the fix. Um, in the description it will show my specs, but in case you don't bother to read the description, uh, I have a 2600K and a GTX 480. The 2600K is overclocked at 4 GHz. The 480 is overclocked at 857 MHz, I believe. So, I mean, parts are old, but they still, they're still hanging in there after all these years. I built the machine in 2011. So... I don't want to record this guy killing me. Damn, he got me. Well, don't watch that part. Anyway, I believe that this is the fix for a lot of people for this issue, and I'm hoping that this is the fix for you as well. So, this is Gitterdown01 signing out. Have a good day.